What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's been a while since I've had like a actual light <laughs> in my videos. Let me just adjust this real quick. It's been a little while. What I want to talk about in this video is she let go and so should you. So this is the idea of mirroring somebody's energy on an energetic level. And I know a lot of you guys are a little, you know, apprehensive about the word energetic level, but that is what relationships and people really are. We're fucking energy, right? It's been scientifically proven that's to be so the truth is at the end of the day that high vibration people do not hang out with low vibration people right it's hard for them they, they see it as a you know they see low vibration people as people that can help themselves but don't right they choose not to that's why it's so difficult because people that are usually on the high usually on the high vibration um spectrum let's say they act a certain way they help themselves they work out they they focus on you know creating freedom for their lives and so on and so forth without getting into any kind of conspiracy theories and stuff like that the idea is um there is a system that we are in that is trying to keep us from uh you know growing in consciousness but the idea of this place we live in earth right we go through pain we lose family members we go through breakups right so the reason I'm talking about that is so you kind of have an understanding of what I'm aiming at to try to tell you. And um, if you're still here, thank you. When you go through a breakup, right, peeling back the layers on an energetic level, there's a difference between you and her right now. For a long time, your, your, your wants and needs, your energies were matching. They were the same or at least they were going down the same path. That person no longer wants to work on this with you. And the feeling that you get, what? right, please ignore that. The feeling that you get is going to mismatch your energy because now you want them more than they want you. First things first, they want freedom. They want detachment from the relationship and they want detachment from any negative energy associated with you. That's why it's, it's hard for them to reach out to you. It's hard for them to actually sit down and go, you know, I want to interact with this person and work on things. The more, you know, it, it is on an individual level. Sometimes women won't want to work on things with you at all and they'll just disappear from your life. And sometimes they will, but they want to avoid that, that, that drama because they know that it's awkward. It's a weird thing because they can't give you an answer. Again, on an energetic level, they know that there's a difference and they don't want to give you pity, right? They don't want to be with you anymore either. So, they want to, you know, take that distance. And that's why she seems so cold or he seems so cold, right? That's why they seem like that because they, they're, see, this is the best thing you can do when you try to figure something out. Put yourself in their shoes. As a dumpy, that's damn near impossible. <laughs> I get that. So that's why I'm here. If you look at them in their, from their perspective, they're going, okay, I broke up with this person and I know I've hurt them. They know that they've hurt you and they know that it's going to be difficult for you for the next little while. They're going to try to keep the interactions with you, you know, they're not going to reveal emotions. It's going to be very difficult for them. And that's why they have to let go of you. Okay. They have to let you go to, to be a free person. Now, this is where the things can get weird. Sometimes your, the dumper will reach out to the dumpy and say, oh, I need this, or I need to go pick up that, or how have you been and whatever. As the dumpy, this is your chance to level the playing field on the energetic level because their interaction with you now, you're probably going to want to say, let's work things out. I miss you. I love you, which they do already know you have to also remain sort of like mysterious as well by saying like, so say they do interact with you. You want to be strong as possible. You don't want to be saying, oh, babe, come back. I miss you. I love you. Oh my God. Let me melt your icy heart. Right? No, you want to just be like, okay, look, I want you and I want the relationship to continue. But if you do not want that, you let me know when you change your mind. What that does is that's going to show them that you are not going to be sitting around waiting for them. You're not going to be sitting around begging, pleading, whatever, right? Now, it's very difficult to do this because this is the last thing you want to say because you feel like you're letting them go and you feel like if you let them go, they will disappear. But that is the exact way that you get this to happen. So yes, it's a very big possibility that they do leave forever, but it's a lot better than you looking like some bitch going like, oh my God, please come back to me. I need you in my life. 
for the men watching this, right? For ladies watching this, it's the same damn thing. When somebody breaks up with you, a dude breaks up with you, they no longer want you. And the best thing for you to do is to be strong because in our human brains, we're going, I don't really want that person to be with somebody else. I don't really want that. But I know that I don't want to be with you either. So we, the dumper, I'm pretending to be a dumper. So we know that we've put ourselves and you in a, in a difficult position. So they know that they're going to have to see you with another person, which is difficult to deal with. But you have to almost push it on them in a way, right? You almost have to go, okay, you want to break up with me? Fine, I'll go. That's the energy that's taking your power back. I wanted to explain it on an energetic level as much as I could without going too deep into, you know, like spirituality shit. So I wanted you guys to see it sort of like that. And that's sort of how this whole thing works, right? And usually in a relationship, you want the balance of power to be slightly shifted your way. I know it sounds like a gigantic game, but this is the masculine and feminine energies coming back into play. If, if, if masculine energy, masculine energy has a specific way about it and so does feminine energy right uh and that's why we uh, we as human beings have both and that's why we have to work together and understand our roles and what we're doing so if you want to really nail this stuff down learning about if you're a man learn about female nature right for women learn about men see a lot of women don't want to learn about men and the struggles of men and what men go through anymore they don't fucking care they're like let me just be me and do what i want to do right and that's why we have such an issue today because we're not looking at the other person and giving a fuck about what they're going through, right? Actually, it, right now, uh, us uh, as dudes, we're seeing it sort of everywhere um, in, in a lot of media and stuff like that through the feminism movement. So that's where we're seeing that it's being f sort of forced. But, and then the, on the flip side of that, women, don't, are, they don't care about, like men are really, really simple, but women think men are complicated, right? Men are not. Men are very, very simple. So this is this, again, there's no communication going on. It's fuck you and no fuck you, fuck you and no fuck you. It's that. It's, it's, it's just like that. And a lot of people are having serious issues with relationships now because they aren't listening to the other person. They're not listening and not putting themselves into the other person's shoes. That's why relationships are fucking failing so much. And the reason why I'm telling you this, I see it every day. Okay. I see it every day. I coach men mostly. Right. And, um, you know, I'm only hearing one side of the story, of course, but I'm looking at it and I'm making the same connections and correlations about among people who don't know each other. Right. So that's why I'm able to make these distinctions and observe, right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I observe things. I'm an observer. I'm telling you guys what I'm seeing. And I, I want you guys to start listening. And it's tough to listen when your individual life is bringing a lot of negativity because you're worried about yourself. That's why you have to fill up your own bucket. That's why I keep coming back to work on yourself, work on yourself, work on it's, it's like a fucking broken record at this point because it's damn near impossible to give a shit about somebody else's problems when you have problems yourself. It all comes back to you as an individual. So you want her to like you, right? Work on you. Because everything else, right, all your ideas come in here. Imagine if you're an antenna, right? All your ideas come in, blah, blah, blah. And then, but what most people do during a breakup is they're like, I want to tell you and influence your, so you come to me. But when you first met her, you were like, oh, all these ideas, ideas being like, okay, I'm going to work on, go to the gym. I'm going to do this. Unconscious shit, like uh, how you're actually attractive. Let me just put that out there. But m when you meet, first meet her, you're like, okay, I'm the, I am my person. I'm just thinking of your head as an antenna and you, you know, have your thoughts and your thoughts become your body and your feeling, right? How you feel. And you work on yourself and you attract people, but people forget that during a breakup. So you have to go back to that same mentality. So me all the time, I'm constantly bringing in ideas, right? And understanding that, that I need to you know, make content, right? Put it out there distribute content to make money and that's how i make money through my business but in terms of a relationships interpersonal relationship standpoint i take in information you know i learn i listen and then i adapt to the way the real world actually works and that's exactly what you guys should do it's that simple but you have to get rid of any kind of negativity in your life that's really affecting you to 
to make it so you really do want to listen. It's fucking damn near impossible to listen when you have an issue in your life. So I'll talk to you guys later. If you, I know this video was a little bit weird, but that's how this shit really works if you start listening.